Which kind of shock is your patient in? Is it hypovolemic, distributive, obstructive, or cardiogenic? Your new patient has a blood pressure of 85 over 40. Your heart rate's 130. Your patient is warm and flushed, and a new foley with a small amount of cloudy urine is in. You take a temperature and you find that they are 102.4 degrees Fahrenheit. This is distributive shock, specifically septic. So what's your initial treatment? It's fluids. You want to give at least 20 mils per kilo, but I've seen it as high as 40 mils per kilo. We then follow that with antibiotics as quickly as possible. Remember, time is ticking. But what happens when the fluid just doesn't work? If you think you should just keep pumping more volume, I've been there. That's the classic hypovolemia mindset. But for distributive shock from sepsis specifically, that approach will only delay the real fix. So the real problem isn't a lack of volume, it's a lack of SVR, or systemic vascular resistance. That's why your patient is warm and flushed. Therefore, you need a vasopressor, something like norepinephrine, to squeeze those vessels back into shape and get that MAP up greater than 65. Don't ever get tricked again. Warm skin, low blood pressure, low urine, think SVR and get your norepinephrine drip ready to hang right after that initial fluid challenge. That's the cheat code to mastering septic shock.